Is Yemen's fear real? Exciting episodes continue in the Yemenid series. On the one hand, Seher and Yemen struggle with memory loss. On the other hand, the insanity of Volk, whose identity has been revealed. Excitement is high on both sides. Yemen and Seher started to get over these difficult days quickly with the support of the handsome psychologist. Seher recalled her first memories of the past. A rapid treatment process begins for the duo. So how will this process go? Will Yemen's fears come true? On the other hand, will Ali be able to save the Aigu? Memories are coming back. Seher's recollection of the past made Yemen happy. However, there is a situation that the Hansa doctor noticed. That Seher suppressed some of her memories. That your subconscious mind doesn't want to face some facts. He made a situation similar to this determination of the doctor in Yemen. He was also worried that Seher would remember the bad days in the past and be afraid. However, the duo realized that Seher would not be able to fully recover unless they faced these fears. When I say fears, of course, these are not small things. If we remember from the beginning, what happened between Yemen and Seher. We can also say what Iqbal did. His death, Seher leaving everything and running away. What Kanan did recently. That poisoning case where Yemen came face to face with death. Scary confrontation. In short, it is not an easy thing to face so many bad memories and memories. It is quite normal for Seher's subconscious to react like this. However, Seher will gather her courage and listen to those facts from Yemen. Even though it is heavy for this morning, the duo will overcome these difficult days together. On the other hand, the scourge of Vulcan does not stop. Vulcan, whose identity has been revealed, continues to sink as it sinks. Vulcan, who kidnapped the Aigu and declared his love for her, will of course not find what he hoped for from her. It's a big problem that such a crazy man can't get his love back. The only decision Vulcan can make on this rejection will be to kill the Aigu and himself. Here, Ali will race against time. Another trauma after Kairaz can be devastating for Ali. However, Ali has the power to save both the Aigu and Yasmin. Seher starts to have feelings for Yemen. When Yemen caught Seher. God, my heart was beating so fast. Wait until you trust him, the author will bring Suhal to shake them up. I would die for those scenes. I would like to be in Seher's place. I hope everything gets better this week and she trusts him again. After spending days without seeing it and reading that they had already finished filming the season, I decided to watch the preview tomorrow. What to say? Yemen and Seher are incredible. Yemen is handsome, very attractive, I love it, the morning is precious, I say it all the time. How Lil and Sla talk with their eyes and facial expressions, there is no need to say a word, they are impressive. But they are just great. We continue with the usual stupidity of the boring series Seher. There is not a single woman who acts and acts like morning. It is ridiculous to see this behavior, she looks like she is 15 years old, I am ashamed, I am ashamed as a woman, it means being a good person, noble, honest and pure hearted, pure and chaste. It doesn't come back and is no longer due to amnesia, it's Naz my eyes way of envisioning the female character or they are evil as hell. Read, Kibble, Zihol, the Aigu, sick, her mother is a mad villain and finally Kanan, a real devil. Or, on the other hand, adult women who act like immature and cautious little girls are on the verge of stupidity. I don't understand Naz my eye, do you really think that women are like that? Do you need to run away from your husband or boyfriend like a road runner to be an honest woman? Do you think this is a good woman? You have to trust everyone. Two seasons later, don't you learn anything even though you make terrible mistakes that have disastrous consequences for you? On as my eye, on as my eye, how little do you know women? It is truly appalling that a woman who describes herself as a screenwriter like you insults women in three knees like this, you name it in the oath and now here, in the way you derogatorily described them. Naz my I women are sensitive yes they trust yes we know how to love we know how to share love but we are also smart we learn from our mistakes we know when to continue to trust and when not to trust the sixth sense or intuition that guides us. 
and most of all, we love to feel empowered because we can move the world. Stop describing us as being so prudent, stupid and stupid that anyone can beat us up and hurt us at will. Enough already. Give Sarah her memory back and let her act like an empowered woman from the year 2022. It took 332 episodes before we saw Sarah act like a normal woman and in episode 334 you made her amnesiac and stupid again. I read some comments about how excited you are for progress. I'm not, Nazmi I will never let anything good come out of this drama. He destroyed it in episode 206 and failed to return the essence of the first season to the series. Everything was falling slowly until we lost our interest and I don't know about you but I was still here because of Halal and Slab but now the uneasiness it created inside me is such a place that I can't watch the full episode. I wish Halal and yes, get out of this series and work on scenarios that are up to your acting skills, it's great. I hope it doesn't backfire. Yemen should go slowly. Nazmi I, I think this memory loss has given what it should have been. No one can stay long without the memory of such a man, even a punishment will save us from this torture. Even if the same scenes are repeated, the effect is not the same. Even Seher and Yemen are not the same. It's like I'm watching others. Something was lost. Small doses to endure this needless forgetfulness, or a dream. What trailer was this? What hot scenes? Tomorrow sounds more promising. At least I'm bored these days but excited to watch it tomorrow. I'm scared or is it the same green dress that Kairaz wore to her funeral? Finally they bought Yemen another jacket because he looked like he got rich because he was miserable, he has been walking with the same thing since season 1.